Is it worth giving you? Yeah, your which. Good, good afternoon. This is Neil Spate, Thurrock Nub News, um, down here in Grays, uh, a venue. I'll be honest; it's the first time I've been down here, and uh, I, I feel not abashed at all by saying it's a little gem. In fact, it's probably a big gem that they discovered. It's the HQ of the Evolve Group that that involves with uh, works with young people in the borough, um, helps them with their lives, their choices, and, and everything going on. And some fantastic people down here. And I've met some fantastic young people. Uh, and I'm now going to meet two very special people, Gina over there, and uh, uh, who is, is involved down here supporting this. And um, uh, the, the, the master the master of the day, the, the operations manager, the director, a man with real passion, real charisma, who's determined to, to make something positive happen in Thurrock. And so I'm delighted um, to meet Richard, for you to meet Richard. We're down here with Evolve. Richard, just tell us a little bit about what's going on here. Hello, my name is Richard. Um, Neil, as you said, um, we're based at Evolve Youth Academy. I am, in fact, the senior project coordinator at Evolve. Um, Evolve um, works with young people in the local area through various youth engagement opportunities, whilst also operating as an alternative provision. I am also the director of U-Turnships, who works with marginalised young people through trying to drive vocational skills and studies. And we've partnered up with Evolve Youth Academy to deliver joint projects. Yeah. Um, I believe we're coming to talk about our premier tomorrow. Is that we, we're going to talk about the premier, but just, just a little bit. I mean, this is, this is across what sort of age group, and, and it's a very diverse setup you've got here. That's correct. So we work with 12 to 18 year olds, and you know, we work with some young people who are on the spectrum young people who deal with isolation or struggle to engage in mainstream education. And we try to offer alternative ways of working to help them engage. So really positive stuff. Yeah. Good. And we're going to talk about something that's, that's not only positive, it's also a little bit special. Tell me about tomorrow. So tomorrow we have the How We Live premiere at the Thameside Theatre. As I said, we're always trying to drive inclusivity and trying to encourage young people. I was privileged enough to meet a young lady called Shantia Jay. She started her own production company called Purpose Productions, and this is her directorial debut. And I, um, when I met her, she told me about her passions and everything she's doing. So we applied for some funding to try and get it um, premiered at our local theatre, and we've been successful. So tomorrow the film will be premiered at the Thameside Theatre, 12 to 3 p.m. Um, the link's on Eventbrite, I'm sure you're going to share all of that now. But yeah, please come if you can. I know it's a bit last minute, but we want to see people turn out in their numbers. We want to see as many people there as possible. And yeah, as I said, we're just trying to drive diversity and inclusivity. Yeah. We want our young people to be there. Yeah, so it's a, a very positive day, um, and it is a world premiere. So, you know, you can say, uh, what did you do today? I was at a world premiere in Thurrock. That's positive. And, of course, you will be going down to the Thameside Theatre, which is another of our gems, and, and it just shows the value of that theatre to our whole community. There are so many things going, because later in that evening, we've got, we've got something modern, thriving, technological, involving lots of young people in the, in the afternoon. In the evening, we've got Thurrock's court players putting on a good old-fashioned mystery drama. So that just shows the range of things that happen at the Thameside in any given day um, so that's really important and we're just going to take a little clip Rich you want to get this going uh, a, a part of what uh, you, you'll be able to see tomorrow and it will be followed by a QA and a session as well with the people involved in this project so um, you know it, it, it will be worth you, what else are you going to be doing on a Saturday afternoon go down and see something different something positive in Thurrock at the Thameside Theatre we'll uh, get this little shot going and hopefully you'll, you'll pick I up the sound I who I am today without my childhood friends and yeah, we may not always agree, but nothing was ever worth it being the end, because what we had was priceless. So we fought. If there's anything this situation has taught me, it's to be careful of the relationships you form. We're actually having a party of our own this week, so you're sure Yes, sir. Yeah. So there we go. There's the start of the thing. I, I, I promise you, go along. Um, we talk a lot about Thurrock and the different communities. We talk a lot about the problems with young people. We tend to accentuate the negative far more often than we accentuate the positive. And there is so much positivity going along in Thurrock, despite all its problems. Great people like Richard, great people like Gina, who you will be meeting again on Dub News in the very near future as we promote a food festival that's going to be happening in Gracetown Park in a couple of weeks. More on that later. But uh, as I say, hopefully accentuating the positive, get along. And uh, I promise you, it, it will be worth seeing. Thank you very much indeed. This is Neil Spate, Thurrock News, and have a great weekend.